G'day, my name is Erin and I'm here today to talk to you about Christmas in Australia. Now, I am a dual citizen of the United States and Australia and I've spent Christmases in both places, so I am uniquely qualified to give an opinion on the differences and similarities. And so let's talk about the similarities. The similarities are both countries were colonized by the British. So our basic traditions are very, very similar. We sing the same carols, we decorate trees, we hang up decorations, we have Christmas fairs and all that kind of thing. All of that is very, very similar. Where it differs is that, for example, I grew up on, on the East Coast in general, and the East Coast tends to be very formal at Christmas, right? We have a lot of very big holidays, type things very very everybody's in formal attire well that's not going to fly in north queensland because the last christmas that i spent in far north queensland i spent with my grandma and the temperatures were in the 90s as was my grandma um in far north queensland the temperatures in december can get from like 93 94 to all the way up to 105 107 so christmas traditional like garb that you'd wear on the east coast you absolutely cannot wear in Australia. Um, so a typical Australian Christmas morning is you wake up, you get your presents, you chat about it, and then you get dressed very quickly and you head off to a nice luncheon with your extended family. And my particular family has uh, Chinese heritage. We've been in Australia since the 1870s. So our traditional Christmas luncheon does include English aspects like a roast of some kind, probably a ham, um, local vegetables, but we also have a Chinese element. So we have like dumplings and bao and, you know, traditional Chinese dishes as well. It's quite a spread and usually everybody is fairly relaxed. That's the one thing Australian Christmases tend to emphasize is that it's, it's a day to relax. It's not a day to get frantic about matching silverware or anything like that. It's really, it's really quite relaxing. <laughs> um, then we pop on home. Uh, we take a nap of some kind, because of course we've overeaten. And then after our nap, we get dressed and we head on out to the beach. Now, one of the things that Australia is particularly known for, and quite sadly too, is skin cancer. It has one of the highest rates of skin cancer in the world, and that's because it's very close to the equator. So one of the most recent Christmas traditions in Australia is the ugly Christmas sweater rashi. You can see it's a takeoff on America's very ugly Christmas sweaters. It's uh, made up in the colors of the Australian flag and it's got like little kangaroos and Christmas trees. And one of the reasons I'm so proud of it is because my cousin James and his advertising agency were instrumental in helping design it and push it forward and market it to people. It is about skin cancer awareness. It is about protecting yourself in the sun. And I'm very proud that any, uh, that somebody I know, not just know, but like am related to, was so instrumental in the design of this shirt. And every year they have a new one and you can order them online, no matter where, across the world, and you can help protect yourself from skin cancer. Now, the reason these are called rashies is because surfers used to wear them. So if they got knocked off the board and they got a little tangled up in the waves, they didn't cut themselves on coral or get um, sand rashes. On them so they started calling them rashies so that's why in Australia in particular they call it an ugly Christmas sweater rashy um, but here we just call them sun shirt or I don't know just swim shirt swim shirt in in the United States